human communication has reached a point where even the most complex of human emotions can be explained very easily to one another. One speaks and the other listens. Most of us are lucky enough to have a voice to express our thoughts and ears to listen. But what about the few of us who aren't as lucky? People never speak? Can't they ever hear? Can we engineers make them speak somehow? That is the underlying question. We believe that with the intelligent interactive system, this is possible. Communication between a layman and a deaf mute person has only one problem. Neither can understand each other's language. The intelligent interactive system has a webcam connected to a beaglebone black MPU, which is in turn connected to a speaker. On the other side, there is a microphone that is connected to an AM335X LCD kit. This is a BeagleBone Black MPU that is Linux based. This has a neon floating point processor and 3D graphics accelerator that is specifically designed for image processing. This is an AM335X starter kit. The MPU has 512 MB of DDR3 RAM. It has a 1 GHz Citara AM355X ARM Cortex A8 processor and 2 GB of eMMC onboard storage. It runs on a 720 MHz Citara AM355X ARM Cortex A8 processor. It has to be provided with a 5V power supply and a 3.5mm audio out comes in built with it. The software tools used were Eclipse, OpenCV and Kaldi, which are all open source communities. I can talk. The gestures performed by the deaf mute people are captured using a miniaturized wide angle USB camera. The captured gestures are processed on BeagleBone Black using OpenCV image processing libraries. The processed gestures are compared with the standard gestures preloaded both in BeagleBone Black and AM335X via a microSD card. The matched gesture template is shared with AM335X starter kit through an Ethernet cable. The speech output from AM335X is given to a loudspeaker using a 3.5mm audio jack. The matched gesture will yield a voice signal in any desired language that the user wants. The gestures are thus converted to speech for better understanding by the layman. The camera accepts the gestures as a video file from the deaf mute people. This video is segmented into image frames and every image frame with its unique signature is compared with the next consecutive image frame. Until the signature difference is small, all the compared image frames are grouped. If the signature difference is large, then the previously formed group of image frames is compared with the standard gestures. The speech signal corresponding to the identified standard gesture is given as audio output. 
The coding for video capture, video segmentation, signature mapping and audio output are all programmed in Eclipse IDE using OpenCV libraries. The program is executed and the programmable file is dumped in BeagleBone Black. Wonderful! The microphone captures the voice signal from the normal person and converts it to text using an open source speech recognition software named Kaldi, which is pre-installed on AM335X. The gesture matching the corresponding text is displayed in the LCD. When the microphone is on, the voice is captured and is converted to text using Kaldi. If the text contains only one word, then one audio file is played. If there are multiple words, then the respective number of audio files are played. I can talk. Yes, you can. The speech from the normal person is thus converted into an appropriate gesture along with the text for good readability by the deaf mute people. The novelty of this product lies in the compact portable build type of the end product.